So we are the CSCE 492 capstone group for Meal of Fortune. The members of our team are Adam Kevin, Christopher Moyer, Des Perea, Timothy Gedney, and Benjamin Ritz. So when we were starting out our group, we first needed to identify problems. And one of the problems that we identify is that finding new restaurants is really difficult, especially in a new area. You have to rely on word of mouth or Google searches. And every time I Google search for a restaurant, I get the same list every single time. It's always the top rated reviews for the area and that's nice and all, but sometimes these new restaurants don't have a lot of Google reviews that might have just opened up. And I want to check these places out, especially when I go to lunch with my coworkers who every time I go lunch with my coworkers, they can never agree where to go. So a lot of times we end up eating at the same restaurants. So right now, the way we solve those kind of problems that I mentioned in the previous slide is that I either drive around aimlessly until I just settle for whatever fast food chain I just happen to bump into down the road, or my friends just argue back and forth and then eventually we come to some conclusion. But the issue with that is that we end up with a lot of repetition. We go to the same places and I'm tired of eating the same food and Google Maps will only show the same list whenever you look up top results in your area. So we need an application that can decide on where to go and let me discover new places that I haven't been to so that I can check out these new restaurants in the area, but also still try out certain types of food that I might be interested in. Our app is Meal of Fortune. Meal of Fortune app was created specifically to allow people to easily find a place to eat or go shopping without having to spend effort to decide on where. On the next slide, we list some of the goals of our app, Meal of Fortune. Specifically, they are to allow users to find a random restaurant simply by pushing a button, allow users to find a specific type of random restaurant with that same push a button, the main feature is to allow users to find a specific type of random restaurant from multiple categories and multiple people. We call this split decision. And also to allow users to save restaurants for future viewing. Okay, so some of the tools that we use for the development of Meal of Fortune include Xcode. Uh, one of the reasons we used it is because it's Apple's native development environment. And so we can easily have it on our computers and have a good simulator and test it on our computer as we develop. As well, it's the majority of the US market right now. So we wanted to develop for iOS. That way we and our friends could use it. And uh, it has an integrated suite of tools, which allows us to do things such as geolocation, show maps, as well as cloud services. As well, we used Yelp. Uh, the reason we used Yelp is it has very specific queries. So we can query for specific types of food, you know, if things are closed, what the cost is, as well as other things such as shopping and amusement parks, et cetera. Finally, we used CloudKit because it has built-in integration for Xcode. So it's a part of that suite that was previously discussed and it's free to use up to a certain amount of data which is dependent on the amount of users you have. So as your app grows, that amount grows, and you're allowed to continue to use it for free. And the last point for CloudKit is that it is private on a person's phone. So if they have iCloud set on their phone, set up on their phone, it already works and it's ready to go. Finally, the Apple developer program was used because all of the above technologies are included, such as CloudKit and Xcode. And, um, it also gives us access to test flight so that we can test it on our phones, give it to our friends, allow them to test it, and easily put it on the app store for 100 bucks a year. In Xcode, we used Swift UI to display all of the components that the user interacts with. We also used Swift to model all of our classes. All of our classes model and handle the CloudKit and Yelp API calls. Uh, we also used an MVVM structure to link all of our UI components to our back end so that all of our data is uh, able to be manipulated and displayed correctly. Technologies that didn't work out. Uh, we initially planned to use the Google Maps API instead of the Yelp API, 
but we ended up not being able to use the Google Maps API because it doesn't have the right information in the queries. We couldn't get category information. We couldn't sort restaurants and places correctly. So, and we ended up using the Yelp API, which works really well, has all of the information that we wanted for our app. Here, we're gonna have a demonstration to show um, what our app could do in a certain situation. So in this situation, we're going to look through the life of someone named Bob, who is new to town and is using our app. Bob just moved to a new area and is going on a date with Cindy. He doesn't know where to eat since he's new there, so he pulls out Meal of Fortune and gets a random restaurant. A uh, Mexican restaurant appears, and so he goes to the Yelp page to get the details, such as menu and uh, closing time. Once he has that information, he's able to go back to the app and save that restaurant to his list so that he can show it to her or send it to her later. Bob's first date with Cindy went well, so they're having a second one. She said this time she wanted to try either pizza or ramen. So Bob opens up the app and goes to something specific to find a specific restaurant. He finds out that there are no ramen restaurants in his area, so he goes back and tries to find pizza. He clicks on the icon and does it in a restaurant. Uh, from there, he's able to uh, copy the Yelp link to the clipboard so that he can send it to her so she can peruse the uh, menu. He then saves that restaurant to his saved restaurant list. Then she states that she wants to go shopping after the date. So he decides to uh, go to the shopping terms and look there to see what's in the area to go shopping at. He finds that the general shopping terms don't really match what they're looking for. So he goes back, goes back and changes the constraints to get better results. From there, he's able to find the type of uh, clothing store that she was looking for. Then, uh, after that, they decide to go get some drinks at a dive bar. So he pulls up the app, goes to Nightlife, and uh, looks for a good dive bar. He doesn't like the random restaurant that, or random bar that he got, so he goes to the list so he can choose there. And from that point, he finds McKinley's and decides that that'll be a good place to end their date. Bob has made some new friends at work, and they're trying to figure out where to eat after work. His friends are split between barbecue, burgers, and pizza. So he picks those icons and enter how many people want each of those um, types of place. They get a pizza place, but then one of his friends decides that they can't make it, so they clear the ratio and try again. And burgers won, and they decide to go to Dairy Queen for dinner. He saves that to his list so he can go there again later. Bob and Cindy have been dating for a while now, and he decides that he wants to ask her to marry him. He decides to do that at the place they had the second date. So he goes to his saved list and finds the pizza place where they had their second date. It's Big Cheese Pizza. He decides that he's going to do it there, so he pulls up the uh, maps from within the app to get directions there so that he can have a happy life with Cindy. So as we saw from that example, Bob was able to select a random restaurant because he was new in town. He was able to set his location and find a random restaurant with a specific type of food. He was able to see also a list of different options available in his area. He was able to do a split decision because him and his colleagues weren't able to decide on where they wanted to eat. And finally, he was able to go back and look at the different restaurants that he had gone to on his previous dates. So, in summary, Bob was able to use our app in order to find new restaurants in his area that he might not normally go to. Anyways, once again, we are the CSE 492 Capstone Group. 
for Meal of Fortune, and we'd like to thank you for your time.